Where are you now, Michael? He passed. It seems inhumanly powerful. For a paranormal researcher, this place is a veritable Disneyland. There is so much paranormal history that goes into this place. I get the shivers just thinking about it. Just being here, I'm getting like all kinds of weird vibes, eerie stuff, hearing things, and I, we haven't even turned on the equipment yet. Basically, this uh, military camp was decommissioned uh, around 69, 1970. But, allegedly, this place was then utilized for secret experiments in mind control, psychic warfare, a plethora of paranormal activity that also eventually led to breakthroughs in time travel and manifestation, all kinds of things that we will be exploring today. The equipment that we bring on Ghost Hunt's range is based on what the hunt involves and where it is. For today's hunt, we've bought almost like a poor man's fleer. When you pass it over a human, the little cursor inside goes from red to green. We have a multimeter. This is an EDI plus. It has vibration, temperature, humidity, pressure, and EMF. We also have a couple of cell phone apps. One is the M2 Ghost Hunter app. Their app listens to ambient uh, noises and makes uh, a word that kind of maps to what the sound would be and displays it on the screen. What we here have here is uh, an entrance to an underground bunker. Well, there's an undeniable feeling here. It's quite weird. I don't know if it's because of the experiments or something else. When we first walked up, we saw an inverted pentagram carved onto the wall. The words help me, a figure of an alien. There's definitely something strange going on here and we're gonna get to the bottom of it using the M2 Ghost Hunter app. Yeah, there's a lot of negativity here. It spooks me just to be here. So we're gonna use this app and ask some questions and hope for intelligent responses. If there's a spirit here with us, could you give us the name of someone standing here? The word feel, feel came on the screen. Feel, I, you know, that's what I was feeling. Feel, bra. bra. If there's a presence here, if there's some entity energy and you can, you're conscious, you're sentient, what would you like to communicate to us? Lori. Lori? That's it, okay, there's bra and Lori. Feel bra Lori. We're gonna switch it up. So the, the spirit box is essentially a radio that goes through the frequencies rather quickly. The idea is that in doing this, it creates a bed of white noise that the spirits could communicate with you through. Are we talking to Lori? What? Thief? I heard thief. Thief, I heard thief. Like a female voice saying thief. We're right at the entrance to the point where the radar tower is and all of the- Time, the first word that came up is time. Time. This, you guys catching that? Time. This, you guys catching that? Time is really the reason why we're here. Someone here? I said you're looking. Pull back. Pull back? Oh, is it okay to be here on this property? No, 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 no. Huh? Do you want us to look up? What is up? Up there? Before the Montauk project, 
back during World War II, and they built a village as a camouflage, as a cover for the military base. They built a town, just a quaint fishing village, so that if you saw it from the air, from a blimp, an airplane, uh, you know, it was disguised. Okay, we're gonna try the EVP cook. I got a hit, it says cook. Were you a cook? Were was you that a, your job? Oh wait, Michael. Michael. Michael is a cook. Where are you now, Michael? Where are, oh, oh. Pass. pass. You passed. Michael, I asked, where are you, Michael? He said, I'm bad. he's passed. This was a really productive journey for the Brooklyn Paranormal Society. For me, I found a lot of convincing evidence to uh, verify the Montauk project story. There's a, there's a weathered feeling to this place, but you could also tell that something or someone has also been here uh, with the intentions of destruction beyond just the graffiti and mild vandalism. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell for all notifications from radio.com. While you're at it, why don't you check out some of our other great videos?